Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gerald. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and answer a question that was asked and I'm going to link the question in the description uh, because there's going to be a lot more people that are going to answer that question and it's from the Quora website. Okay. Uh, the question was asked, uh, why is all cash better? So I'm going to extend it a little bit. Uh, why is all cash better than financing? Because it's either cash uh, or financing, okay? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily consider all cash better, and you would have to take that on a case-by-case -case scenario. So, if the property is a fixer-upper, uh, not lots of times you know, especially if the property cannot go FHA, lots of times you know uh, that you would have a very difficult time <laughs> getting traditional financing on a property, especially properties that are totally, totally messed up, right? So all cash, going cash in that situation is king, right? So cash is better, but it depends on the situation. It's not 100% across the board. So in a case like that, where you have an extreme fixer-upper, uh, where you can't get traditional financing, uh, like a loan, maybe that's 20% down, 10% down, uh, FHA 203K loan, whatever the situation is, cash is best. You know, when you can't go traditional financing. Now, when you're dealing with a lot of people that are um, wholesaling real estate, you have a lot of investors that they're not necessarily looking to purchase the property. Matter of fact, not necessarily. They're not looking to purchase the property at all. All a person that's wholesaling real estate is looking to do is to assign their equitable interest to a cash buyer. So in that scenario, in that case, absolutely cash is better. They assign their interest to a cash buyer. The cash buyer goes and closes out the deal and gives them a wholesale uh, fee or an assignment fee or what have you, right? So cash is better depending upon the situation, right? Um, so when you have a fixture upper or when you're dealing with wholesalers, absolutely cash is, that's, that's it. You know, you typically need cash to go ahead and close out that deal. Um, now, you're going to have to gauge this as an investor. Is cash, is cash better based upon this individual scenario, right? And that's one of the things I go ahead and I tell investors is you have to be an investigator before you are an investor. Once again, you have to be an investigator before you're an investor. What do I mean by that? So you have to analyze the deal. You have to break down the deal. Cash may be best when it comes to this particular situation. Um, another thing I tell people is when it comes to cash, so let me, let me ask you this question. When it comes to cash and you want to go ahead and buy a property all cash, yet and still the property is maxed out, right? There's no equity within that deal. So in that case, why buy cash? Unless you're A, going to go ahead and keep it and live in it. Um, because there's no typically... Uh, no positive cash flow with a scenario like that. So in that case, cash would not be better. Really, financing would not even be better. Unless you see some benefit that is there. Uh, with a scenario like that, uh, a wholesale lease option might be best. And there's a lot of people that need something like that, right? Where an agent can't help, cash can't help, traditional financing can't help. What does somebody do when they're maxed out and they have no options? They can go ahead and lease option that property and wait for that property to appreciate over a period of time. The challenge is this. Most people, most investors don't understand the concept of um, an assignment lease option or wholesale lease option. But, you know, that's something different. So cash is better, but it, it just depends on the situation. So take it on a case by case scenario. OK, so this is Gerald. If y'all found value with this video, please click the like button. Also share it with family and friends. Check out the link in the description. Check out the multiple links in the description as I'll have some resources for you all as well, okay? Have a good evening.
Take care. Bye.